everybody, what's up? I'm Dylan D, and welcome to my two-part 100 subscriber special, the Jurassicus Rex tutorial plus battle armor. Thank you everybody for subscribing, it's a blast being able to read all of your guys' reactions to my designs so far. I definitely have a few brand new surprises in store for everyone in the coming weeks, like how to build giant robots in Minecraft Step 2 has a brand new surprise that I'll be throwing in that I'm sure more than a few of you will be excited about, with much more we can talk about later, but with met goals comes even higher goals, right? Something like that. Next, I'm asking everyone to help me get to 250 subscribers, and we will tutorialize another over-the-top build. Now, this is where I would say what it would be, but I'm sure there will be more builds between now and then to choose from, so we can pick and choose in the comments and see what happens in the coming weeks. But until then, I'm sure most have seen the showcase, so I don't really have to give this one too much of an explanation. The Jurassicus Rex, my first ever massive slime block robot in Minecraft. I give it to you, my sensational subscribers. Now, I've actually taken some time to completely upgrade its system so it functions at peak performance, which I will explain along the way. So let's jump straight into it. Once we get down here, we have a chest, and these are all the materials you will need. You will need just over 12 stacks of slime blocks. You'll also need 64 and 5 uh, blocks of choice. 45 sticky piston. You'll also need 64, 64, and 62 uh, regular pistons. You'll also need 64, 64, and 53 redstone blocks. 24 stairs or whatever block you'd wish of your choice. This is for the teeth and the talons of the build. And then, of course, 53. Uh, stained glass of your choice, doesn't matter, this would be for like missiles and uh, like the cockpit area and whatnot. Then three oak fence for the boats and um, you know, your cockpit area. And then 64 and 64, so exactly two stacks of TNT, nine boats and nine immovable blocks of your choice. Of course you'll need flint and steel to start it up and two pistons to launch the cruiser missiles that we will put on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and get my inventory in order and we will get on with the tutorial. Alright, now that I have my inventory all straightened up, just two quick little announcements. Uh, one of the updates to the Rapticus is a fully functioning flint and steel start-stop engine, you know, just to make it easier to start and stop. Uh, the next announcement, last one, is uh, I'm going to be running this tutorial kind of quick, so just to fit it under the 30 minute mark, and uh, of course that means I just encourage you all to spam the pause button. You guys got this, don't give up. And uh, just real quick, this is the outside little nail, I guess, so, you know, Facing towards this village will be the Rapticus that we are going to build, and this is the outside little nail, so knowing that, I'm going to swing around this way and moving towards the inside of the build, I'm going to slam down one, two, three slime blocks like so, then coming out from it, I'm going to have two more, and then I'm going to throw down a regular block like so, then coming up from this slime block right here, I'm going to come up three additional, so there's four total right there, and then a redstone block right here, then we want one block here for spacing, then we're going to come out this many slime blocks, that is three total, and then we want two more coming out from right here, so there's five total slime blocks on the top. Then you can go ahead and slam down your regular blocks like so, and then from this location, same as the other one, three more uh, slime blocks off the top, <coughs> redstone block like so. Then you want to go ahead and come up with your sticky pistons, and once you have done this, you want sticky pistons facing straight down like so, which will be powered eventually by uh, helped updated by that block and then powered by this redstone block and th this one. Now this piece needs to be moved so it'll be moved by uh, that redstone block later on when we put a piston in the location but first we need a sticky piston straight down right here. So so far you should be looking at this redstone block on top to fully extend that down. Now we just need to update this sticky piston and that one with our flint and steel. Now that's what you should be looking at. Next up, we can come out of this nail on the inside, so this is the village we're facing it towards. Coming out from this one here, we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then up one, or back one, up one. So it was like so. Now, once you have this, we're basically the same thing without all the extended pistons. So three slime blocks, two more like so, come down to the bottom, which is just a little easier. Regular block there. Coming up from right here, you want to go one, two, three more slime blocks, redstone block here block in the middle for spacing doesn't matter because you're just going to blow it out right away. Three slime blocks here, two out like so. Then we can go ahead and place in a regular block there, regular block there. 
off this type top slime block or that little middle slime block there you want three more so there's four total redstone block here then of course your sticky pistons which are unextended which will be right here right there good to go now of course this little piece will be up one block which just you know gives the little animation of the leg coming up going back down etc then you want to go ahead and add in your other unextended sticky piston and the other redstone block of course we will add in later on so once you have this just make sure that the left leg is back one block from the right and we're ready to move on Alright, so next up you're going to want to grab your pistons and we're going to come back to the leg that's floating off of the ground here. And we're going to come off just because it's easier right here with our pistons. And once we have done this, once we have it looking just like so, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our slime block and come off two off the back like so. And then two more off the top of each uh, slime block there like so. So you have this kind of look. Then you want to go ahead and slam down two redstone blocks like this. Now once you have that, you want to go ahead and put down a, another piston right here. Now once you have that, come back this way with your slime blocks. One, two, three. <coughs> come down one, two. So you have five total slime blocks right there. Then you want to go ahead and slam down a piston there and a piston there. And that will be this little piece in that little area. Then you want to come up two more additional slime blocks like so and slam a red blo stone block there. Coming to this one, you will be coming out from right here, obviously, so this uh, foot can be pulled up one block before being pushed forward. And once you have this and this one right here, you can actually duplicate exactly what you did right there and we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so once you have that all mirrored up and ready to go, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you can actually come back here to check. The left leg will be one block back still from the right leg over there. So the block that's touching the ground will be uh, one block forward, or the leg that's touching the ground will be one block forward from the leg that is not. Now, coming off uh, from this slime block right underneath this redstone block here, you wanna go ahead and just throw down a piston and face it in this way and then go ahead and place one slime block behind it. Now one of the key differences in the legs here is happening right now. And once you place this piston, you wanna go ahead and place two slime blocks on this side. So one on that side, one on, uh, two on this side, so it looks like so. Now once you have this, uh, you wanna throw down a sticky piston here, slime block, and then come back like so. Regular piston like this. Throw down a redstone block to make a caterpillar uh, engine there. And then regular block here, and then you can come over two slime blocks, and then we can go ahead and throw down redstone blocks right away. One there, one here, so it looks like this. You want to go ahead and grab your immovable blocks, place one there, slime block here, and then grab a sticky piston, place it there, grab your regular pistons, come back off of the obsidian and have a piston facing directly into it. Then once you have that, you can place a regular block here with two slime blocks on top of it and then one slime block to the inside of the robot. Redstone block here on that inside slime block, same with right there. You wanna go ahead and throw down an immovable block right here. Then you wanna go ahead and come back with your pistons like so. So there's one facing into that obsidian and then grab your sticky pistons and place one right there coming off the side of that redstone block. Now, once you have this, you can place a regular block here, a slime block here, and off of this slime block will be another caterpillar engine coming back like so with another piston like this. And we actually, before we place this redstone block, if we come out one, two, three, four, like in this little pattern, uh, coming off this sticky piston, and then place a piston here. Then we can place our redstone block with no worry of uh, what will happen and won't activate. So then knowing that, coming off of this uh, caterpillar engine right here, that slime block, you wanna go ahead and place another block, then grab your slime blocks and come up one, two, three, four, and then five, and then come in one. Then, of course, we're gonna hook up another caterpillar engine to this slime block here with a dangling piston out there, a little dangling out in the open, and then a sticky piston right here. And then once you have this, you actually go ahead and just throw down a redstone block right there. Now, there will be a regular block here to uh, update this engine to go forward. Now, all we wanna do is just kind of throw in one of these looking patterns. So it looks exactly like this. You can throw a regular block here. It looks exactly like that. Then when you come off and we're gonna throw down uh, another Caterpillar engine coming off the front here. 
and then one right there, sticky piston right there, I apologize, and then regular piston here. Then just so we don't have any mishaps, we're going to place an immovable block right there, and then a red stone block right here, and boom, there you have it. Actually, you can go ahead, and everything will be mirrored from this location. The slime blocks were the only thing that were different, so sticky piston, slime block, then you can come back and place your caterpillar engine, and as you can see, it will be the exact same thing on that side, and it will line up with uh, this area here. So once you have that, we will go to the next step. All right, so once you've done all that, you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Now, coming in this way to this area here, what we're going to go ahead and do is place two slime blocks like this, and then a piston facing forward. This will prep uh, for the tail later on. Now, once you've done this, we'll come back to actually making it a full-on engine with the start-stop mechanism and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and just come to this piston for now and put in the whole kneecaps of the build. First up, you want to place a slime block here, and that being your first one, you want to go two, three, and then four total like this, just a straight line and then coming off this one you want one two three four more so there's five total on the bottom then you want to go ahead and grab your pistons put one there put one here and then put one there and you can put a redstone block on the top there come over to this piston here come out with your slime blocks so there's one here and then you're going to come out one more this is also uh, another difference from over there make sure that there's two slime blocks and then you can come down three more for a total of four on the front five total on that whole piece and then you want to come in one two three right there from that bottom one so there's four total on the bottom instead of five like over there throw a piston down here there and right there so you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this redstone block all the way right there and then we can come back over to this area once we have that we can actually throw in slime blocks like this and then make like this four pattern coming out from these two pistons and put two more like so and then a redstone block right here and then a redstone block right there make sure it's on the back piece and that one's also right there then of course you want two sticky uh, two sticky pistons on this one right here facing straight down into the mass of blocks and then one facing straight into the side of it now once you have this we're going to come to this piston coming off of it with a slime block and a redstone block of course we're going to go ahead and come back with this being your first slime block one two three and then four and then come in one with a redstone block here slime block there off that little middle piece I guess and then a piston right here now once you have this piston you can actually come off of it like so and then you can come over two more so there's three total in the front and then one over that's pointing at this piston here you put a redstone block right here and then spam the front with nothing but blocks like so so that should be one, two, three, four, five, six total blocks that you just put there, and then a redstone block to finish up that piece. Now, to come over here, there is just a slight difference. Uh, you can come through uh, one, two, three, four blocks coming off of this piston, and then we're just going to go ahead and throw down a redstone block right here, good to go, and a sticky piston coming straight out of it, and it should extend. Then slime block here, piston right there, <coughs> and we're ready to go for this piece. First up, what we're going to go ahead and do is add a piston here to break out this one. Now, it's of course, we're doing this because this is the extended piece that's extended straight down. Now, of course, since it's extended down, it's extended forward one and then down one. So this is where our mass of, uh, I guess, slime blocks will be. And we will go ahead and put in the mass like so. So it lines up with the back of uh, this slime block uh, piece that redstone block there does. And then once we have this here, we can... Uh, come into the top here and place in this top piece which will be one two three slime blocks again and one facing back with a redstone block like so then as you can tell that's where our other sticky piston will go extended facing straight down and then we can go ahead and do the same thing with a redstone block here as we did on the other side and then of course with all of our blocks facing in like so now once you have this uh, just make sure you did it right. This block here should be one block ahead of the uh, other leg over here when you look at it like so. Then once you have this, make sure you have a redstone block right there and we should be ready to uh, move on. One more redstone block right there, right underneath this piston here. It should look just like that and we're ready to move on. All right, so once you have all that and everything is in position, you can go ahead and locate this mass of blocks here. Come to this slime block, place down a piston, come to the side of this slime block and throw down two extra slime blocks. Throw a piston down just like this, facing forward. You can go, go ahead and come off of it one block uh, 
forward uh, slime block right there like so and then a second one on top of it and then come back f off of it so it looks like this so your last slime block should come in and be directly underneath this sticky piston then once you do that add another sticky piston right there redstone block in front of it and then come forward add a slime block here piston there and a redstone block there for that piston now once you have all of this little area going go ahead and grab your regular blocks place one right here redstone block here slime blocks to connect those together two more slime blocks and then two more slime blocks go ahead and grab a redstone block place it on top of that other redstone block place a regular block here to counteract this sticky piston that we're about to place so it doesn't just you know go crazy when we activate it then place a redstone block that redstone block right here should have moved and we can go ahead and just put it back simple update we're good to go now that is your fully functioning start stop engine just make sure as soon as the machine moves forward like as this whole thing is moving forward when this moves forward one block that's when you update it like as soon as it moves forward you update this that redstone block will move back and it'll catch this piston and you know it'll stop it then every time you update uh, this sticky piston here after that it'll re-grab that redstone block and it will continue to the build forward so knowing that we're ready to move forward ourselves all right so once we have the star stop uh, engine going in we're going to go ahead and add in the spine so what we're going to go ahead and do is grab a regular block throw it right here throw a slime block on top of it then throw a regular block here and then another slime block right there so it looks like this you want to go ahead and come off of both of these slime blocks with sticky pistons we're going to be adding in some caterpillar engines so it looks just like this and then we can come off the back uh, with our pistons like so, so one's right there, and then one's right there, and then once we have that, it should look at something that looks exactly like this. Then go ahead and place our immovable blocks, one there, one there, grab our redstone blocks, one there, one there, slime block, repeat that on this side of the slime block here, two redstone blocks like so. Then once you have this, we can actually come up slime block here and then here, and then once we have that slime block here and then regular block here, then come to the side, slime block there, slime block there. Then once you have this, we can actually come around to the back. We'll go ahead and place these pistons first. Yes, they will be another uh, set of caterpillar engines here, uh, one right here, and then one to the side of it. And then we go ahead and grab our sticky pistons, and place them like so. One here, one there. Now, once you have this, uh, same thing, we're going to go ahead and grab some immovable blocks, place one there, place one there. Then we can go ahead and place redstone block, redstone block, slime block, same thing over here, slime block, redstone block, redstone block. Then coming off of this slime block on both sides, one, two, one, two, and then this slime block, same thing, one, two, one, two, piston, piston. Now, once you have this, we're going to go ahead and come down to uh, this uh this sticky piston here, the redstone block next to it, go ahead and add a slime block and then a piston to that and then coming off of it, one slime block like so, then you can go ahead and add a piston to the side, one slime block down with a redstone block here so it will uh, act, update that piston when it moves forward and then we're going to come over one, two, three, four slime blocks so you come to the outside of this redstone block so it's even with uh, that redstone block and this slime block then you can go ahead and just slam down a piston here and that's all for that step and we will move forward. Alright, so once you have the spine all good and working and you're confident with it, go ahead and come to this piston and it's actually off one block so we actually blow out this piston, place the slime block here and then place the piston uh, again to where it's even with this sticky piston. Next up, come out one slime block here and then one slime block to each side of it. Go ahead and place a redstone block on the right side and then a regular block here so it looks like this then three blocks across the front and then one block in the middle there then you want to go ahead and just place a piston here grab your fence posts uh, your fences and then place one right here Then you can actually go ahead and grab a boat and place it right there now once you have done this you can come off of this piston with one slime block there and then of course two on each side of it and then one on the front of the side ones then you can go ahead and place pistons down on the sides of these front slime blocks like so and then you can grab your glass of any kind and place it here this will be like the starting of the uh, front cockpit glass come to the bottom middle slime block place a slime block here with a redstone block right there and as soon as you have this you should be ready to uh, move on to the next step 
All right, next up we're going to be adding the tunnel bore trigger switch and the cruiser uh, missile pushers. So you can go ahead and come off of this piston with one slime block here and then two slime blocks off the back of it for this little three pattern. Go ahead and place a regular block there. Come in with your sticky pistons right there off the uh, top of that sticky piston that I placed on top of that redstone block. So it should look like this. Place a redstone block here. You can actually come around to the front now. Place a regular block on that top slime block and a piston underneath it. Then coming forward from it, just one uh, slime block like so. Slime block down below. Redstone block here to charge uh, to activate that piston when it moves forward. Then this being your first slime block here, one, two, three, four, five total. Then put one here, a slime block there, and then a slime block there. So you have three in the middle total. And then you have a piston on the edge of uh, on the end of each one of these little uh, slime blocks sticking out. Then once you have uh, this whole area, we're going to go ahead and move back to this location. Then going to go ahead and just grab your sticky pistons, come up to right there, and then place four slime blocks on top of it like so, coming backwards. Place a redstone block here. There will eventually be a piston that will bump this forward, you know, and push this whole piece forward. Grab your regular blocks, place one here, and place another one right there. Now, once you have done this, you can actually go ahead and swoop underneath this regular block, place a slime block here, and then two more like so. Redstone block here. Grab your sticky pistons, come off of the front to have a sticky piston facing directly into this little mass of blocks we're creating. Then slime block, regular block in front of it. Then we can actually uh, charge this, this sticky piston. Redstone block, uh, and as long as you haven't placed this piston yet until just now, uh, updating that sticky piston uh, did nothing to your build. And you should be looking at something that looks exactly like this when you go ahead and place a boat here and about there. Now once you mimic uh, or mirror this onto this side, we are good to move forward. Alright, so once you have mirrored everything right here from this side, what you're going to go ahead and do is come to this piston here and come out one slime block from it, one to the outside and then two to the inside. Go ahead and do that to this one as well. Uh, two to the inside, one two here. Now once you've done that, you can go ahead and put two slime blocks up like so from in front of the piston. You can go ahead and grab your glass two like this, two right there, one here, one there, and of course one in the middle, so you're looking at something that looks, should look exactly like this. You can grab your redstone blocks, place one here, and then place one right there. Then you can grab your pistons, place one there, place one here, and then coming off of those pistons, what you want to go ahead and do is uh, place one slime block out like so, uh, redstone block here and there. Now this is going to be uh, for purely symmetry reasons, I'm going to place slime blocks back here so that it actually grabs these redstone blocks. And uh, what's going to happen is, is they're going to pull on this uh, sticky piston. Uh, how that's going to work is with a p slime block here, with a piston on top of it, and then three slime blocks coming up on the top of that sticky piston. Redstone block here, and that uh, is the kind of like little front of the cockpit, like the entire glass area as soon as you do this with that slime block here and then glass all around it and as soon as you have something that looks exactly like this we will move back to right here on this piston and coming off of it like so you will have one slime block here and then come off of it two more slime blocks redstone block on top piston here and then coming off of this slime block on the side you want a regular block then as soon as you do that slime block here and then you want to come back off the back of it with uh, a piston, and this will be a caterpillar uh, engine. So a sticky piston right here on the front, and we can actually throw on a redstone block. There's not much more we can do. Then coming off the side of this slime block, you want to go one, two, three, four, five, and then six slime blocks down, and then add in a piston right here. So this piston will move this entire little segment forward. And then what you want to go ahead and do is make sure you come off two blocks, so one, two, add a piston facing forward right there, and then a piston facing backwards right here. And then after you have this, what you want to go ahead and do is grab your sticky pistons, come back so the sticky piston is facing backwards off the top of this block, and go ahead and cover it with blocks like so. And then grab your slime blocks, one here, redstone block here, and then a piston right here. And now you can actually go ahead and mirror all of this that we just added in from this piston here, and we are good to move forward.
Alright, for this next piece, I've actually placed in half the uh, head and neck already just to help me with uh, placements of all the other blocks. So what you want to go ahead and do is just choose one of these pistons, doesn't matter. Come out one slime block, then another one in front of that piston there. Then go ahead and add a uh, redstone block here to update that piston when it does in fact move forward. Come forward one slime block here, make it three total, and then a redstone block there. And then you want to come off this uh, slime block with one, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and add a piston here. Grab another slime block, place it right there, piston on top of it. Then once you've done that, we're going to come off this bottom uh, piston first with three slime blocks facing straight out of it. Redstone block here, and then we're going to want a piston right there, right away. Then coming out from this slime block, we're going to want one more with a piston right there, uh, easy as that can get. Then we want to go ahead and come up two more slime blocks from the slime block directly behind that piston right there, and then two more out of the side of this slime block. Go ahead and add a piston to the front right there, and that's good to go. Coming back to this piston, we're going to go ahead and come out two slime blocks with a little air gap right here. Then make it a three slime blocks with a uh, redstone block right here. Piston, not right there, a piston right here. And then once you have this, we're going to come off of this piston with a uh, slime block pattern that looks just like this. One, two, three, four with redstone block here and then a piston right there. Then once you have this, we're going to go ahead and come right down to this bottom piston. Come off of it uh, with a slime block like so and then one to the outside, redstone block. Come down to the bottom, slime block, slime block, slime block, slime block, slime block with a piston. So that's exactly what that should look like, uh, just in case that was a little confusing. Then we want to come out slime block uh, here and then three slime blocks total coming out of this piston. Redstone block here, then go ahead and grab your staircase and put uh, three of them like so right there along the little beginning of the bottom jaw. Then we're going to come up to the next available piston, come out one, two, and then three down, one out. Uh, one slime block out here with a redstone block there, and a block here just like the other side. Then we're going to go ahead and put two uh, regular blocks right there on the bottom. Then, of course, we're going to grab our teeth again, come up, teeth are there, teeth are there. And as soon as we have that, that should do it for the bottom jaw. We're going to come off of uh, this piston with our slime blocks like so. Then you want to come in one and then place a redstone block on the top of that slime block. Slime block here, there, and then right here. Uh, just So then you want to come out with your regular blocks like so. Turn around, go ahead and grab your staircase, put it in like so. You can break that block now. Then once you have this whole little piece there, you can go ahead and come out from this piston with your slime blocks. Come out one, two, three with a piston here, redstone block on top. And you can come out with a slime block here, down one, back one with your slime blocks, forward two, place a regular block here, and then a redstone block here. Grab your staircase and you can actually swing down this way, one here, two and then three total for that whole little segment and that should actually do it for the uh, entire head and neck and you can go ahead and mirror it onto the other side and we're ready to move forward.